My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violet, New Jersey, and I am recording this um, cult who plays head games, gaslights, and persecuted me, destroyed my family, and um, they're just full of it. Um, so they blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> I did not even, like, write on their page or anything like that or whatever. But I knew they were going to. Because I was going to see how this was going to happen. Okay? Because there is this, um, woman who still slanders me, by the way. And just want to mind you, she basically acts like she's sitting there. Oh, she learned a lesson of truth and God and all these other things. While wow, she's still lying. Okay? So, she's a fraud. All right, and um, so they're playing these games and saying these little things, and um, ugh. okay, look, all right, so they're using these different versions of the Bible. Now, I had a fit over this NIV, and I'm going to tell you what happened because they colluded with police because they are persecuting me for being Christian and interpreting the Bible, by the way. Okay? And, um, so the third Bible that I've ever read, um, in my life is the NIV, in which I ripped up, uh, when I was finished with it. So, um, and. They actually, this the violent police actually was using this evil forged version of Bible to sit there and claim, which I had been fighting for for years, okay, and um, I'm gonna try not to cry. So I, I can't cut, keep cut off the video every time I cry. I do that and it gets exhausting, and then I have to repeat the video and try to be, repeat my words and try to fit things that things that I said and wondering if I said it in this video or the last video or whatever. So if I cry, I'm just going to leave it on. Okay, so, um, I was just listening to them. I don't know if the air conditioner is going to pick up. Ugh, I still have my headphones on, but cool set of headphones, right? Like, seriously. <laughs> I ordered them. <laughs> so, um, I already ruined the wire though, so it's really terrible. And so I gotta get a new one, and my cord keeps like going in and out. But, um, the thing is, is that, um, yeah, I grew up on the, on the King James Version, by the way. And my speech, I haven't made fun of my speech because of the dialect or whatever, even in this cult church, right? And I was told if I don't speak the dialect or whatever, and to go back where I came from, or whatever, and take my beliefs to back where I came from. By the way, I speak against, and even when I was in this church, I speak against the false teachings that I grew up on, okay? So, um, anyway, uh, I, yeah, I started, um, undoing everything when I was around 19 years old. Um, I, I actually recognized that their teachings were false when I was around 12 years old, because I was made to write, like, much of the Bible, like, for punishment and I was actually yes I was perfect okay um I did not sin okay um I did not do wrong <laughs> okay um according to them I did like literally like it's not even a cliche in my life like you know how they sit there and say you know cross your t's and dot your eyes or whatever I was punished for that if I did not dot an I and cross my T all the way I remember that specifically so, um, <clears throat> literally, I was punished for that. So, um, <clears throat> in this school when I was in seventh grade, or whatever, around 12 years old. So, um, I was made to write, like, for, like, ever. Like, I couldn't even go outside when, you know, I went home or whatever. I was just in my room until I fell asleep. I ate dinner, you know, whatever. But, you know, um, just writing and writing, and I couldn't even do any of my work. So, um... It was really, really terrible. I was just treated like an inferior being, by the way. And this church, by the way, I'm going to record another video because they treated me like I was an inferior it. Okay? And they're going to sit there rant off and act like they're speaking against, oh, with another church, a collusion with another church of um, um, Calvary Chapel, who they colluded with to persecute me and continue to persecute me because he's a cult abuser by the way, um, 
Calvary Chapel, Frank Apollo, or whatever. So, all they did was slander me, okay? And, um, so I'm just going to read this or whatever because this is the thing. I'm just going to record this real quick, okay? Oh, my phone's not going to reach around. I don't know how to. All right. Hold on. See, I'm going to record that real quick. Okay, and he asks, okay, he asks, oh, what do you notice in this thing? So, I mean, they pointed out, like, things like, um, I don't know, uh, oh, wait, I'm going to look in the comments. No, I'm not going to. It's not even in real time, anyway. So, um, let me see. Listen, merely listen, or whatever, and I was mocked for that word. Uh, I didn't learn, I didn't actually pick it up from this. I was using it before that, um... It was actually, I picked up the dialect, um, in my research studies, actually in the library. <laughs> Not from this, um, evil Bible, by the way. So, yeah, they use this evil Bible in the NIV to basically claim that I'm disobeying God or whatever. They forced me to marry my, rap marry my rapist or what have you. And basically, I said, this is not the word of God. It's a forged version. They said, and got their Calvary Chapel, Frank Apollo, to claim that, oh, they're all the word of God. So, this is the um, Code of Spody doing this. And they destroyed my family and my children, by the way, and claim I wasn't being obedient to God because I would not submit to my rapist, by the way. So, um, anyway... So, anyway, I'm sitting there calling them these filthy monsters, what they are, what have you. So, they're going to sit there, and they're going to play these games or whatever. And, um, so, they're sitting there claiming, oh, using this forged Bible, by the way, and basically claiming, um, it says, therefore, get rid of all moral filth. Just want to let you know, immoral people, filthy people wrote this forged evil Bible. Yeah, put it away from you. This NIV is evil and it is filth, okay? And no, it's not moral. No, I don't speak against moral. But the thing is, they are flipping things backwards, okay? And they're claiming... That, oh, I'm speaking against their morals or whatever. For speaking against their heinous sins and crimes they are committing against me. Okay, and I just described some of it or whatever. So, um, so he's asking these questions. What words stick out to you and all these other things or whatever. And mind you, there's, um, okay, they use, a, they read another verse before this. I'm not going to switch back and forth or whatever. But they read another verse. So to anger, so to speak. I mean, um... Quick to hear, slow to anger, slow to speak, and all this or whatever. And I've actually used it, not this version. I use James a lot, um, and a lot of things. And I was basically called a legalistic, um, religious. And they're using another Bible that basically condemns the Pharisees and Sadducees as religious, claiming that. That I am basically uh, the oppressor. Speaking against their evil is not oppression, by the way. But they use it a forged Bible. They were my oppressors and acting like they're speaking against oppression. Calvary Chapel's doing the exact same thing. A Frank Apolito. Okay, he's stealing my words, by the way. He mentioned some of my words. Okay, that is my statements. I can't get into all that. I'm going to do another video. But I just want to make a quick video here. And so they do this because they actually, they were nasty and abusive and angry towards me for interpreting the Bible correctly. Okay, in love and kindness, by the way. And I was never even coarse to them or whatsoever. My attitude is much different now than it was then. And I did not basically cry out in pain, in agony or whatever, like I do now before they attacked my children. Okay? Um, so I've been in agony since then, by the way. And they're going to pretend that they're speaking against oppression or whatever. I wasn't going to do any more videos any, 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 anymore anyway about anything. But then, if you notice... So, 
this is from the verse before, right? The quick to hear, slow to speak, and then they put anger by itself. Okay? Now, they have another video, and they're acting like they're speaking against oppression and, and all these other things. And then sitting there condemning their false cult leader abuser, William Clay, is condemning um, because they're claiming, oh, it's speaking against me for being religious. No, my religion, by the way, was interpreting Christ rightly against their false teachings. And I kindly was submissively gave knowledge or whatever, and they were abusive and slandered me, made up all these false rules to basically eliminate everything every time I spoke. So, that's exactly what they did. And it was an abuse of Lee King's who's in hell. Okay? And, um... Apparently, they were teaching teachings and stole a lot of teachings from me that I taught them and are persecuting. I mean, they were flipping things backwards. They were even going around sitting there repeating and convincing other people that I'm sp I am spoke against metaphors. Like, for example... Uh, this, I was told not to speak in metaphors. Well, no, not, okay, that's not how it went. I was told not to say like or anything like that in response to me making comparative, um, metaphorical speech. Okay? So, and I was just like, it's a metaphor. And the thing is, they were in abuse and they were sitting there saying, don't say I, my, or me. And, hold on a second. <laughs> this was uh, their false minister, Lee King. And it was just like everything I said, they made a rule against or whatever spoke to whatever I said. They just made up a rule for me not to speak, period. Okay, it was attacking me for being a woman and speaking knowledge. Okay, and because I did not believe that Jesus is God. Now, the thing is, this false leader, um, William Clay, it read from this forged Bible, the, the TPT. Which I call the Pig's Translation Bible. Okay? Um, and it basically, in this forged Bible, sits there and miss... Like, it's not even interpretation. It's just made up garbage. It's like the message or whatever. And I just started reading that when I... Like, I don't know how long ago it was. It was six months to a year ago. When I watched a video and tried to look up this translation. So I had to look up, like, all these words... In detail on how he was reading it to find out what translation it was, um, and come to find out, it was called this 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 uh, pas this passion translation, and it's just a deception. That's all it is. And and it this false ver forged version basically in one place is there, and claims that God called um, Jesus Jehovah. Um, and claim that God called Jesus God, basically. They were claiming that, you know, like, Jehovah, God's name is Jehovah. And then they sit there, and he uses a verse in that translation, which I use in the, in the, in the New King James Version. That's what I used, okay? I was using this to compare and study this, and that was the start of my study of other versions or whatever. This version. Uh, which was actually taken out of context or whatever, and basically uh, used by my spouse and their claim, oh, I ripped up a Bible or whatever. I didn't even do it out of anger. It was like, I was like, and nobody was there. I just mentioned it. Nobody was there even when it happened. When I got done reading it, I'm like, ha ha, and I ripped it, and it was just like, it was like an enjoyment, like, ha ha, da da da, you know, or whatever. Um, so. That this is like the third Bible I read. It might it was like the it, first it was the King James version, uh, the New King James version and NIV around the same time, um, and I I studied actually very hard to find actually a word closest to word for word Bible, um, and it was and I spent a year. I'm um, probably almost a year to find the Bible, going through different things or whatever. Now, I didn't read them, but I, you know, did a lot of things. You just looked up certain little, you know, passages and made comparisons or whatever. Um, and I basically selected the New King James Version is what I did. So, it was a study Bible. 
but I do not even agree with a lot of the studying. I do like the maps and, you know, different cut things in it that are concrete, but there's a lot of false doctrine of interpretation that is wrong. So, um, yeah, so, um, um, little notes and stuff I had to correct. So, um, it's so terrible. Um, the thing is, it was translated word for word. So, they weren't interpreters, but they used, like, 70 people and from all different backgrounds and, you know, um, uh, claimed rabbis and, um, you know, different, um, c claimed, claimed theologians. Now, I never have, I tried to find, it, if there's a true theologian out there, I haven't found one yet. <laughs> So, back from, like, you know, medieval times to all the way through history, I spent years and years and years and years trying to see if there was one since then. I know there is some, because I have heard a few people actually teach, like, here or there, like, interpretations, like, small things that I've interpreted and that can get complicated because I there's people that just because they agree they think that's an interpretation or whatever but there's you could tell that there's been teachings and true Christians even because of you know even in our in our country and things that were established and laws that were established and fights for things and um by um people claiming to be Christian or whatever and you know just because some people have okay <sighs> See, I'm getting into, like, things, but, um, that's my interest, you know, or whatever, but, um, yeah, so, you know, but I, I can identify, and it's just like, wow, wow, you know, um, so, it's just here or there, um, they're the stronghold, that's, the, they're the only ones who've, who, you can tell they've been there, like, our country is falling apart, but these strongholds, of certain laws that were made to to block um, injustices and oppression and destroy like things that were actually you know um, corrupt or whatever even though they're still corrupt it still you know tries to weave its way in you know to destroy our uh, the foundation and stability in this country you know what I'm saying so um, these are just things that um, I recognize, and I, you have to go to the roots of things like laws, what, what is, what is been established and like it's concrete and is really just and true and what is corrupt and what is like making things fall apart. And this, the law is that important. Like, I mean, uh, to me, I mean, uh, okay, I have to go on. So anyway, um, I didn't get into teachings, but, um. I shouldn't do that. I should just teach if I want to teach. I mean, I don't know where it goes. This is what I should do. That's what I do. But, um, I think I messed up my own pathway of teaching when I try to, um, just say this or say that or say this or whatever. It's okay. People don't follow what I'm saying. But, um, so, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to go back. Okay, to these um, people, I don't because I don't know if I'm gonna do the video. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to record that too. But anyway, this false minister William Clay, it's it's very strange because I struggle, I struggle with him because I mean he, I'm traumatized by him, and it's hard for me to get through videos. Um, it's easing a little bit. Um, and it's very strange because even though he did it when I was there, and it's very, very confusing, like, he does this thing where he demonstrates that he's relaying this message, and there's, like, a little, like, like, what are you doing? Like, it's, it's very confusing because he's, like, saying, like, I'm letting you know that this is happening, and this is being said, and this is being done, or whatever, and then, like, he's attacking you. And it's not attacking, like, my sin or any of these things. And this, and this guy, like, destroyed my children. And then when he, he, I'm not, he, I mean, he's a madman. He does all kinds of crazy things. And he's even going around sitting there, like, aggressively, like, pointing this, this large wooden cross. Like, it's about this big, I guess. Um, well, as big as maybe almost my forearm, you know, probably. Um... 
at people, and these people are my enemies, well, a lot of them, you know, well, a lot of them aren't there, but it's just like, I still feel bad about why is he doing that? Like, I should sit there and cuss these people out and just sit there and tell them how evil they are all the way down to the, the, the core of, like, their evil and what they did or what have you. And, like, yeah, I hate them, but it actually bothers me when he's doing that. I don't know why. It's just like, what the, what are you doing? You know? And, I mean, I'll flip out. And it's just like, okay. I'm just sitting there flipping out my enemies, but... I don't, I don't know what the cross line is of the law of my conscience is when he's doing that. Um, but he's, he's literally just, I don't know if there's like an object here. Um, <clears throat> these scissors, I don't know. Um, like he's like holding this cross. These are scissors, but he's holding this cross and like, do you? And it's just like. What is what is she doing? You, this is how I feel um, about this. Like it's it's really bothersome. Like, what are you doing? You know, um, you would think it's like if if he was like attacking like somebody that was like these selfish people that like did really terrible things to me or what have you. I was just like, yeah, and I don't because there's there's a conflict between. Me and him, like, he's my enemy. Like, I am traumatized by him. But there's something that is happening. And he did it before where he reveals things. And he's doing things to let me know things. And then he's attacking me because it's like, oh, if I say this, this evil, what have you. But he's done evil to me and my family by his own ignorance. As he, they're sitting there going around, sitting there claiming they're speaking against the belief, these belief systems or whatever. And, um... It's like, and you're sitting there speaking against yourself. Let's fix your own belief system. Like, like really? And he has a prejudiced way of expressing that because he's going to sit there and act like he's speaking against my beliefs or what I grew up with or whatever. And it's just like, I have never spoken anything in this cult church that I grew up on. Not one thing. And they prejudicedly, falsely judge me. Even Lee King, you know, telling me, oh, you go back to where you got it from type B. I'm summing it up. But give or take a word. Same principle. And it was, that was like actually very horrible. Because I grew up in an abusive cult church. Who were basically uh, trafficking a lot of children through their foster care and sexually abusing them. Who taught a lot of false doctrines. And false traditional doctrines that were going through this church also. And I was giving the knowledge against that, by the way. And, um, so there, what? And I was just like, and my response is like, I can't go back to heaven. Not at this time, anyway. So am I connected to heaven? Yes. But they slandered me and did all these things or whatever. So, I just find it interesting. He's sitting there told me not to talk about myself. And all these people are sitting there talking about their story. And you know what? It's reminded me of me being in their church because I, they're sitting there like, well, this is what I believe. What, oh, I mean, what I was taught when I grew up. And I said that in their church. So, it's like, I don't know if you do that deliberately. Because this is, this is around where, well, I said it a few times or whatever. And, um, mainly in, in, in a class of Lee King where I was just, like, targeted, you know. And, uh, even by the false minister, William Clay, like, almost interrogating me. And I don't know why. And, um, like, and they started making up things that wasn't even related to the thing. And I was, like, shaking. I was having a panic attack in the class, actually. He just started, like, making things, like... Are you saying weakness is a sin not even related to anything that I said? But he was focused on biblical questioning type thing. And that was not the issue between me and Lee King and all these others. It was, I asked questions and there was a disagreement. But they were abusing me. They were gaslighting me. They were mocking me. They laughed at me literally. You know, those false pastors, like, just made up out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, nobody's laughing at you. No, they did. A lot of times. Even his wife did. 
and to laugh off a statement because I basically made a statement that just um, demolished the false teachings he was teaching. And um, so they tried to laugh it off to cover it up and then it was echoed in another church afterwards or whatever. But um, I don't know why I got into all this. Um, whatever. I, you know, I didn't even know where to own, um, go with this. But I was going to do another thing. I didn't know if I can. So they're sitting there, and they're, I, I might do another video. Um, I find it very interesting, though, because they're sitting there like, um, observation, interpretation. I just want to let you know. The book of James, and this is from our original observation, my theological works or whatever. All my theological works, I mean, there's some basics of, like, language and, you know, what things mean or whatever. I look up or whatever and, um, um, in certain roots or whatever, um, on my own. And that, that was, that's a lot of work because you have to go, you gotta sort out people's false opinions. Oh, that's another thing that I'm gonna mention real quick. He's sitting there and he's echoing Calvary Chapel. Frank, uh, yeah, Frank Apollo, and this is how it started, or whatever, because, well, this is how it started. It started in this church, and I wrote my private journal. They were hacked into committing crimes against me, okay? And I wrote that the, 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 the false pastor, William Clay, which he was actually mixing, Frank Apollo was doing the exact same thing. He's echoing it. They're basically echoing each other, and they're in conflict with each other. It's like a cross. This is kind of like, not a cross as a cross, but it's kind of like, okay, they were hired by the violent police department because they were persecuting me, and basically, um, they were using them for sinister reasons, okay? Um, so, it was just like, the, the Nazarene were attacking me, because the police department was attacking me, which I suspect that they were mis even misleading them to sit there and attack me because they're doing it all over the place in other areas the same way. Now, so I don't know the direction to play in when I was being attacked by William Clay um, as he was basically manipulating them or they manipulated him or both or they were coming this way instead of this way and this way. I'm not really sure how to explain that. But, um, so the Violent Police Department hired these two, well, a few of them, but th these main two chaplains that have the more control, Frank Apollo and William Clay, they were attacking me, okay? So now it's just like William Clay and me are like going against Frank Apollo, and Frank Apollo is going against me and William Clay. I am against William Clay and Frank Apollo. This is how it is. Okay. Um, so it's very strange. I was pulled into all of this. They were attacking me. And the only thing I did, I was, I'm the one persecuted. So now they're sitting there and the conflict about them coming after there's, there's a, there's a, something against Frank Apollo. And, um, now it's like there's an exposure to Frank Apollo. And then they're trying to cross me with it. And they're, he's trying to cross them, and I'm exposing them. And that's okay if nobody understands that. <laughs> it's really, really terrible, but I am the main victim. And my family was destroyed, and it is all a joke to them, and they're making a joke out of everything. Okay? And, um... Anyway, so, I, you know, I just want to throw this in, because my, my thoughts just, like, hanging in there that I want to finish... Because I have many thoughts. It's just going to branch off or whatever. Um, by my own interpretation. Uh, by the authority of the Holy Spirit. Um, this is my discovery. Because I basically was. Um, when I was encountering. And studying and breaking down. Paul's writings. Okay. Because it's very very complex. And there was a lot of claims about Paul. And so I had to challenge that. Yes. Against. Um, I'm not into the whole thing. They have this whole thing about challenge. Or whatever. Uh, let me put that in there too. Um, yeah, 
their false pastor, William Clay, is like, you know, the whole challenge, God is challenge you type thing. I challenge you in the word of God and all this. So they echo it. And they basically are reflecting what their false pastor is falsely teaching them. And they're claiming it's of God. It's like, God has challenged me. God is doing this and God is doing that or whatever. While they're sitting there echoing false teachings. <sighs> very, very scary. So, um, anyway. So, anyway, my observation uh, for my theological studies is that um, it seemed like a conflict between... I was actually almost going to, like, exclude James as being an authoritative book. And, of course, I wasn't going to do that. I mean, there was a conflict, so I questioned it more than I was going to exclude it. I mean, but I would. I'm sorry. I would if I found it to be false. Because there's a lot of conflicts um, in expression. Now, my whole thing is... And I learned from, actually, personal experience more than anything. Because... I was basically told I was contradicting. And now I guess it's told, oh, I'm contradicting the word of God. No, I didn't. I corrected them with the word of God against their contradiction intently against the word of God. And they intently and knowingly rejected um, the teachings I taught. And apparently it was taught after they excommunicated me out and played, oh, basically my teachings that I was correcting them on. This is what I find, and the same thing is happening in Calvary Chapel, and other places also. So, um, I just have, like, two different thoughts. Like, I still want to go here with this whole interpretation. So, the thing is, my observation, my personal discovery, and basically bringing these comparatives to the book of James. James is interpreting already. It is an interpretation James is interpreting the confusion that people were falsely interpreting Paul's writings. Okay? And though it seems like in many areas an opposition actually just comes in like a back way, so to say. It's kind of like, it's very confusing because it's like, people like people try to play on like, you know, Oh, like, you know, it's not, it, it, it's not about what works, it's about faith and all this other stuff or whatever. And, it, like, I tried to explain people by my personal original interpretation, uh, by the authority of God, um, is, um, is talking about by. It's sort of like when Jesus teaches, um, to judge by, um... Do not judge by appearance, but judge appearance, but, but but judge by righteousness. So they're not interpreting the whole by, not by the law, but by faith. Paul never speaks against the law, and these people, even these people, and other people sit there claiming that it's Paul spoke against the law, and he did not. So I had to challenge that against Paul. Um, I just.